What's going on guys? Matt Thomas here bringing you guys a brand new video. Race day vlog at Talladega. We're going to Talladega Super Speedway. Um, but right now we're at Quick Trip. So I'm gonna see if they have Rowdy Energy. And I'll let y'all know. You got none, sweet tea. Huh? They had Rowdy Energy. My race day's ready. Let's crack it open. I can't crack it open. Ah, there we go. Let me know get my receipt out of the ATM machine, please. Wait. Talladega Super Speedway. In traffic, though. <laughs> Outside of the traffic. With the flags out there. Red, yellow, one's black, and green. I don't know what that one is. I think that's the uh, move over flag. I'm not sure. And white check. I don't have a stage flag out there. A what? A stage flag. Yeah. Green checker. Oh well. I'm trying to get inside. Starts out on the bottom, then he jumps up in the outside line right in front of William Byron. Legato will keep the lead. Here's Byron giving him a good shove now. But Byron rumbles out of the pocket. He'll go for the lead. Come on, Byron. Come on, Byron. 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 to work early this afternoon at Talladega. Edges out in front. Legato rallies back around the outside. Here comes Alex Bowman now. He hooks up. And yes, you can hear the crowd in the background here at Talladega. There's a lot of people watching this.
Ryan Blaney. He'll take the third spot as Christopher Bell begins to backslide a bit. Blaney goes to third. Fourth spot now belongs to William Byron. Does it take long for a three-wide line to break out? Up against the wall, here's Michael McDowell. He's leading about a half dozen drivers up there, trying to get something happening. It's not going to work as Hamlin leads him back to three. With Kyle Busch riding in second, Ryan Blaney in third, William Byron, Austin Dillon completing the top five, and then Bubba Wallace rides six. All of that traffic working the bottom lane. That three-wide way outside lane is interesting. Michael McDowell is there.
he leads the top lane that right behind him you've got kyle bush there's a middle lane with only four cars in it pick a lane decide which way you're going to go that middle lane you've got brad keselowski now and he has kyle bush behind him all kinds of traffic lighting up there and in fact chase briscoe was part of that he is indeed trying to climb the leaderboard is chase briscoe
of Chris Buescher and Kyle Busch all along that inside lane of the racetrack. He's getting too far out.
Myron now leads the lane in the middle. Ryan Blaney starts a three wide run up against the wall towards the tail end of this massive lead grab that continues to land by Denny Hamlin. He's got Matt De Benedetto right behind him and then Chase Elliott. Elliott checks to the right. There's William Byron behind him. Martin Truex Jr. He checks left. There goes Chris Buescher. There goes Alex
Byron on the outside. Byron with just too much momentum draws alongside to the outside of De Benedetto. They go door to door, racing their way up off the bottom of turn number four. The race for the lead is on. It's magic, but it doesn't. It's disaster. We're talking about. Bad idea. Shows Halen right into Bubba and Kislowski. 
today. It was really the only lap that mattered, though. What were you thinking when the bottom opened up on that last lap? Merry Christmas, Regan. <laughs> you know, um, man, what, a, what an awesome uh, day today to bring one line on uh, Ford Mustang into victory lane. Uh, just. You know, the whole race had a couple opportunities to take the lead, but I just kept thinking, man, just keep your car in one piece for the end. And uh, we've been you know, so close here, man. It just didn't seem to want to come together here the last few years. I've been on kind of a four-year drought here, but uh, it's nice okay. to get number six. I would have never dreamed I'd have tied Jeff Ford to Darren Hart Jr. here. That's uh, something, man. Those guys are really legends. So just really proud of my team. We had an accident the there early, and, and they recovered, so and uh, got down mixed up to where I could keep running. And, um, my crew chief, Jeremy Vaughn, had a lot of confidence. I told him, I want to come in and put four tires on this thing. He said, yeah, go ahead. And uh, that really helped a bunch at the end. And other than that, I'm just so excited. My daughters and my wife are here. They're in the motor room a lot, so I don't know if they're going to come to mix your lane, but they finally got to see Danny win, so that's pretty cool. You, you got coming down the press straight away. Your spotter Coleman Presley telling you all the perfect moves to make. Were you aware how big the run they had at that point? Oh, yeah. I saw it coming. I was like, oh, God, please. Just, if I could just get to this line, couldn't they just put it on the other side like Daytona? But uh, no, it was a, and that's their job. Everybody's just racing hard, pushing hard, and that's Delta. Nicely done, Brad. Congrats. Thanks, buddy. And that will do it. Um, I did not get a program right now. I ordered it online. They didn't have them at the track. Unfortunately, which is weird because it said they would have had them. So I ordered it online. It should be here in a few days. Um, I got a few other things. When the program comes, I'll show you what I got. But, um, yeah. Brad Kozowski won on Wednesday. Brad Kozowski won today. Joey Legon ended up flipping on Wednesday. Joey Legon ended up flipping today. Iconic. That's weird how, how things happen. But anyway, this is stage two four, James two six signing out. I see you guys uh, next time. Um, it'll be a while to get this video uploaded because um, it was long. But I look at the footage tonight or tomorrow. See you guys soon.